A father, mother, and son are all still in the hospital after their home exploded yesterday. Investigators are looking into whether a gas leak is to blame. Fox 13's Jennifer Holton spoke to that family today and joins us now live from the scene in Bradenton. Well, the first question, Jen, is how is that family doing? Well, they have been through such a traumatic experience, Linda, and the 23-year-old brother, Adrian Lopez Jr., remains in the hospital's ICU in a coma at this time. We spoke to his older sister, who is the only one in the family who is not hospitalized. She is working on picking up the pieces of her family's livelihood after their home was left literally in shambles. Karina Lopez says her family remains homeless after a massive explosion destroyed their Bradenton home Thursday. They have nothing, literally. I mean, their, their personal belongings have been blown up. They have nothing. Cedar Hammock Fire Rescue would not speak with the media today. But yesterday, its crews responded to this neighborhood about a natural gas leak before noon. The agency says crews worked to locate and control the leak. But hours later, the home exploded and caught fire. Karina says at first, her family smelled the gas. But they, they were told like it was nothing to worry about. It was going to be gone in a few hours or so. Um, and then they didn't tell them to evacuate or anything. So they were just um, outside at first. And then I guess my brother and my dad just went in really quick inside and it just exploded in a second. Her father and brother remain in the ICU with severe burns. She says her brother is in a coma. My brother, um, they said he does have third degree burns um, on his arms. So they will have to take off um, his skin and put new one on him. The family has hired a lawyer who says his firm will be conducting their own separate investigation. We're going to find out what happened, why it happened. Uh, to, to comment and say, I can tell you what we believe happened, but it, it's not fact until we know exactly what happened. The family and neighbors claim residents across the street were evacuated, but they were not. The explosion leaving even those next to Karina's home displaced. They put a sign that said we're no longer, we, it's unsafe to stay with all the damage that's been done. So we just got a, a little bit of money we have left from, you know, a saving. We're just trying to get everything out, just trying to, trying to find a place now where we can settle down and, you know, restart our lives. At this time, the family's attorney says there is no litiga litigation pending right now, but they are trying to get to the bottom of this to figure out who is at fault for this explosion that left this family really in dire straits. They've been out here all afternoon trying to literally pick up the pieces and figure out what they can save, what they can throw out. It's just an awful situation for them. Linda? Well, I kind of hope that the community can rally together for this family. They've been through just so much. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.